in 1946, right after the end of the war, we were asked, the sisters were asked by both uh, representatives from the Canadian and the, well, probably from the British and the American forces, if we would open a school for their children, English speaking children, and the sisters agreed. So the international school began and their classes were held at Nomentana. As the numbers began growing and space was at a premium at this point over at Nomentana, the sisters looked for other property and found the Villa Laukley, which was in the middle of a great field and vineyards. And the property was purchased and the students moved over here in, in the early 50s. We took possession of the Villa Laukley and classes began here. Then the number of students was increasing, plus the number of boarders. We began having students coming to us from Saudi Arabia, from American families, Canadian families living there. And um, the high school building, which we now call the secondary school building, that was built in a very short time. And then after that, the boarding school, the residence for the boarders was built. In 1991, Notre Dame closed very suddenly and um, Sister Anne Marie agreed to take the boys. So at that point, we became co-educational. And uh, with the closing of the boarding section, we had the room to handle the increased number of day students. So we've grown and grown over the years in numbers of students, number of faculty, size of our property. We've done a lot of work over the last couple of years in um, really enhancing the identity of our school and, and making sure that Marymount is seen here in Rome and outside in the outside world as a school that's an academic school, an IB school, an international school, and, and most importantly, a Catholic school that really fosters the mission that the founders, the Religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary started um, a long time ago in 1849, but founded this particular school in 1946. I think some of the best memories are my years as house mother, working with the boarders uh, who would come to us from different countries. I would go to my room in the dorm during the day when I wasn't teaching and the students would come down just to sit and chat and talk about things. Sometimes I sewed for them. And it, it just was a very nice experience, a very homey experience for a long time. So I look back on those years, the 14 years I was here with great fond memories, very fond memories. And I remember many, many students. And now in my present job, when I came back in 2010, my new position as alumni coordinator is also very, not challenging, but very, um, very fulfilling because of being in touch with past students again and listening, hearing from them what they have to say about their years at Marymount and know that it was a great experience for most of them. Some probably didn't have as great an experience, but on the whole, I think most of them did.